Effleurage on the back can be done from the lower back up towards the top and there isn't the same emphasis on which direction to go because watch this. I'll go up and then I'm going to come up to the top here and I'm going to start here and I'm going to go down. The idea being that you don't have the same vascular principle that the veins are not superficial here and so it doesn't matter which way you go. On the extremities the veins only want to open up towards the heart so that we've always got to do things in an upward direction. Here on the back you can go up or down. It doesn't make a difference. The effleurage is an important stroke for starting and when you don't know what else to do, effleurage in between every other stroke. And that's a very nice continuity stroke too. How's the pressure, Lisa? Oh, that's great. Good. Always check, folks. The effleurage stroke goes down the erector spinae, which is about an inch away from the spine itself, right down to where it attaches at the sacrum, the lower back. So don't just go to the waistline and turn around. Go way down and then up the sides and then down again. So whether I'm starting from the top or the bottom, I'm going with my hands focused about an inch away from the spine. So don't go right on the spine itself and don't be stingy on your backstroke. When you're coming back, go way out and get the whole side. It just feels so good and all encompassing. Right, Lisa? Mm-hmm, absolutely.